Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Julian and I am an actor. And I'm here to help you a little bit with speaking Shakespeare's lines. Because they can be a little bit confusing and daunting, especially if you don't have a lot of experience with it. Maybe your only experience is trying to read it together in high school and, um, yeah, that, that's, that's not the most helpful way to learn how to read these lines, I'll be honest with you. We are just going to go over a couple of really quick tips today. We're going to use As You Like It because it's a play I'm fairly familiar with and I have been in. And it was also the first one that I thought of when I thought of the rhyming couplet, which we will be dealing with later. This is Nigel, by the way. A really common mistake to make is reading to the end of the line and not to the punctuation. Doing that is going to result in a lot of confusion and probably contributes to why Shakespeare seems so impenetrable to a lot of people. It's because they read to the end of the line, not to the punctuation. So we're going to take one of my lines, I played Rosalind when we did this play, and we are going to look at it reading to the end of the line and reading to the actual punctuation. Now my little book actually does a pretty good job of making it easy to read to the punctuation, but sometimes you will find it laid out in on a much larger page, for example, where there will be all this space after the end of the line. So let's read to the end of the line for a couple of these. Yes, one in this manner. He was to imagine me his love, his mistress, and I set him every day to woo me, at which time would I, being but a moonish youth, grieve, be effeminate, changeable, longing and liking, proud, fantastical, apish, shallow, inconstant, full of tears, full of smiles. You get the idea. But now let's go ahead and read it to the punctuation. And something that might be helpful for you if you are struggling with this is to actually go through and write the lines down or type them out as you would see in an ordinary book. That might help you read to the punctuation more easily. Yes, one in this manner. He was to imagine me his love, his mistress, and I set him every day to woo me. At which time would I, being a moonish youth, grieve, be effeminate, changeable, longing and liking, proud, fantastical, apish, shallow, inconstant, full of tears, full of smiles, for every passion something and for no passion truly anything. You get the idea. It makes a lot more sense that way, doesn't it? You can kind of understand what the character is saying when you read it to the punctuation, not to the end of the line. But Shakespeare... He loves a rhyming couplet, and those things are dangerous because it is super easy to just turn it into a sing-songy da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Now, sometimes he will do it in situations where it is supposed to be funny or he's using it for that reason, such as the one that I'm going to be reading to you now, which is Orlando's poetry for Rosalind, which is supposed to be kind of cringy for taste. If a heart do lack a hind, let him seek out Rosalind. If the cat will after kind, so be sure will Rosalind. Wintered garments must be lined, so must slender Rosalind. Now, Shakespeare is using it in this situation to be funny. And an actor might take it and actually play up the rhyming couplet in this situation just because it is supposed to be funny. But there are many times when Shakespeare uses a rhyming couplet and he's not intending to be humorous necessarily at all. At which time you really have to watch out for falling into that cadence. Da 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 that, That'll kill your performance right there and also your reading experience. If you're reading it, especially to perform it, you definitely want to make sure that you get other inflections, tones of voice, and way that you're saying things in there so it's not just repetitive and monotonous. For taste. If a heart do lack a hind, let him seek out Rosalind. If a cat will after kind, so be sure will Rosalind. Winter garments must be lined, so must slender Rosalind. I'm doing a bad job, but you get the idea of the inflection, the difference, the way of saying it, to keep you from just falling into that sing-songy rhythm. There you go, I hope that was helpful. My book is falling apart. You can always tell if a script has been used on stage because it is falling apart. I hope this was helpful. I hope this is what your professor was looking for. And I hope that some of you are coming to appreciate Shakespeare as much as I do. Bye!